So here's the Everlast Power Plasma 60 and we've got the ground cable workpiece wire goes through through this little strand and clamps onto our steel table here. And we've got back here the torch and that carries some wires through the big loop and into our gun right here. And as you can see there's a switch here and the front nozzle right there. At the back of the machine we've got the power cable that goes through the three wires through there and there's a male plug connected to a female plug and that extension cord goes into right here our plug just as you would see for a normal plug but this is for 240 volts alternating, alternating current so different plug style much larger wires is used. And now back here we have our gas inlet and this gas inlet if you trace it this tube goes into this water filter water vapor filter and then that filter has an outlet here and this is the quick connect plug for the air compressor okay and that hose traced back into our air compressor here and as you can see the yellow tube ends up with another uh, quick connect here as you can see so you just quick connect that and you quick connect there we go and there we have the gauge with the turn on turn off uh, and the air compressor of course plugs into the standard 120 volt power so connection wise that's pretty much it and there's an important point at the front of the power plasma 60 which is okay of course you got the fuse here you want to make sure that fuse is not blown uh, you got the pilot arc that's just one wire that comes into the torch and connects to a part of the nozzle and the last one is control so this control actually is represented by a diagram I'm going to show you right after as you can see uh, this is right here on the machine on the power plasma 60 it uh, has four female pins female pins and those four female pins connect to uh, this these four female pins and the orientation is ensured by that little slot you can see at the bottom of that matching the little slot or rather the little dimple that you see at the bottom there too so that you can only fit this onto that one way because of that dimple only that way you can't do it like this because then the slot would be in the, to the to your right and there's no there, then the dimple is going to stop this metallic piece from coming in now that said why four pins well actually you don't need four pins here's how it works you've got the female on the uh, power plasma 60 you get the male that I just showed you separately and what happens is the left two pins and the right two pins are actually connected and what happens is when you switch on the gun here uh, it, the gun because the wires go into the gun the switch electrically conducts the left pair of pins to the right pair of pins and this was all tested with the multimeter so it was double checked so when you turn on the switch, there is a connection between the left pair of pins and the right pair of pins, and then the electronics in the uh, Power Plasma 60 senses that the switch has been turned on, and the pilot arc goes, and you get a burst of plasma. Um, so how can you fit this in with a torch table or make it generally more modular? That's the task here. How do we make the control more modular? and this is how you do it. As you can see we have the female 4 pin plug on the machine represented here, this is a side view plasket machine and then we have the male piece which is right here, fitted like that and as you can see at the back of this male connector there is the two pins on the left uh, soldered together and the two pins on the right 
solder together. Or rather, it's disorientation. So on the left and on the right, it's soldered together. So all you would need to do really is to solder one wire to the left pair of pins and solder another wire to the right pair of pins and of course shrink tube the uh, connection, the solder connection so that you don't get any uh, stray connections happening other, other than when you want it to. Uh, and then, as you can see, shrink tube those connections between the male pin and the wires and you can keep these wires short and I'll explain why later on uh, example 12 inches or 3 centimeters depending on imperial metric it's about the same very very large tolerance uh, okay so after the wires comes here's the good part you have insulated screw terminals and that allows you to be uh, very very versatile with what connection you do so if you have say this gun and at the end of the uh, cased wire that you have for this is this connector of course but you can actually not use this connector at all and just use the two wires that are going to be coming out of here and screw them into the screw terminal and if you do that now you have a functioning uh, plasma cutter with the gun w uh, with the switch enabled but if you instead of using the wires from the gun you attach the wires from say uh, microcontroller controlled uh, pair, uh, sw uh, relay, solid state relay then you can activate the control hence turning on the plasma torch without pressing this trigger and instead letting the microcontroller turn on the switch based on its programming and let me just quickly show you what I mean by that screw terminal. So it would very much be like this, except instead of three pairs of terminals, it would be only two. Mount the connector. Snip excess flux it. Cut shrink tube. Drip and solder wires. Heat gun shrink tube. Alrighty. We've got the new modular connector right here for the purpose of testing I'm going to use this low insulated copper wire and what I'm going to do is you see those two red wires I'm just going to turn the switch on quote unquote by just inserting these two wires into those two terminals and then this plasma cutter should activate let's do it turn it on Success!